If you are a public speaker, you should be worried of these mistakes. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you seven biggest public speaking mistakes that speakers do. If you are new to this channel, why don't you follow me? And let's do more. The number one mistake a lot of speakers do is lack of preparation. They don't prepare before they go on stage. They just want to go up and figure it out. But speaking is not like that. You must prepare, you must plan, you must rehearse, and you must practice your speech. If you are not prepared, you are not ready to speak. So as a speaker, you need to prepare. Don't go on stage without preparing. Mistake number two is fear of making mistakes. A lot of speakers go on stage and they feel like because they are an expert in A, B, C, they are afraid to make mistakes. If you are afraid to make mistakes, you will always make mistakes. So as a speaker, prepare. Know what you are going to do on stage. And know that and focus on that. Mistakes will come. We are human. So prepare for the mistakes. But don't be afraid to make mistakes because the more you're afraid to make mistakes, you're going to make more mistakes. Number three is avoiding eye contact. When you're speaking, you must look directly into the eyes of your audience. You must connect with them. It's just like making a phone call. If you don't connect with the other participant, believe you me, you will never speak to them. So first you must connect before you deliver. So as a speaker, it's important to know that eye contact is key. When you are speaking to the camera, you must look directly to the lenses. And once you look directly to the lens of the camera, you are connecting with your audience. If you are speaking in person, you must establish eye contact with the audience. And how do you do that? You do that through your presentation. If you are standing, you may disperse your eyes to look around all the audience. If you are walking around too, just walk a little bit to the middle, with little to the left and to the right and establish eye contact of your audience. It's very important. Mistake number three, that number four rather, that people, most speakers engage in is mismanaging time. Time is important. And some speakers, when they give them 30 minutes, because they believe they are the experts or they are experienced in the topic, they want to do one hour. Yes, you may do one hour, but you are disrespecting your audience the organizers, and your colleague speakers. Imagine they tell you that you are going to speak at 9.30. And you go there at 9.30, and there's a colleague speaker who was supposed to stop at exactly 9.30, and the person speaks up to 10 o'clock. You may not feel good. So once they give you the time, also make sure that you maximize the time and stop at exactly the time that you were given. So don't mismanage your time as a speaker because your audience will get bored no matter how interesting you are. Believe you me, they may be clapping, but they are bored because you are wasting their time and everybody's time. Number five is not knowing your audience. Public speaking is an art. Public speaking is all about communicating. Before you speak, you need to do your audience analysis. Know who you are speaking to. Because if you don't know who you are speaking to, why speak? And one mistake that we do is that because I'm a public speaking coach, I feel like I can speak to anybody. No. You must plan and prepare your speech to be able to reach out to your audience expectations. If you are speaking to corporate organizations, 
it's a different thing altogether. If you are speaking to university students, their understanding may be different from corporate employees. If you are speaking to nursery or kindergarten students, it's a different thing altogether. So you need to prepare, you need to plan to meet your audience expectations. Know your audience before you speak to them so that you can prepare the words that you use, the props, all will be able to engineer and help you speak well. Number six is speaking without a purpose. A lot of speakers speak without a purpose. They just speak because they were given the opportunity to. So as a speaker, you need to speak with a purpose. Know why you are speaking, know who you are speaking to, and have a goal of your presentation. You need to have a goal of why you are speaking. If you don't do this, believe you me, you may be speaking, but no one will understand you. It's just similar to the last point I made, speaking without knowing your audience. It's just like you are going to Accra, or you, are, you want to travel to Dubai, and once you know you want to travel to Dubai, you prepare towards going to Dubai. You have a purpose. But if you pick your bag and you don't know who, where you are going to, so you land somewhere that you were not expected to go to. So it's just the same as public speaking and speaking with a purpose. If you speak with a purpose, it helps you to deliver your presentation well. Speaking without a purpose, you are just going to speak, but no one will understand you. The last and final point is speaking too fast. A lot of us, we speak too fast, and sometimes it comes natural. But if you are speaking too fast, your audience may not understand you. So learn to speak to meet your audience expectation. Learn to speak to meet your audience understanding. Learn to speak so that your audience can grab whatever you are saying. If you realize that you are speaking too fast, learn to incorporate pauses. The more you pause, the more your audience will understand what you are saying. Public speaking is an art. And you can do it well. I believe in you. I believe in the power of your dreams. If you like what you are hearing, why don't you follow my YouTube channel? Why don't you reach out to me and let's do more? I believe in you and I believe you have greatness in you. Watch out for the next video.